Poet laureate, memoirist, singer, dancer, lover of life. In 1947, he broke the Major League Baseball color barrier. Her 1981 book, Women, Race, and Class, has been shared widely as an essential reading for anyone wanting to learn about being actively anti-racist. In 1923, she became the first African-American woman. Native California, daughter of immigrants, attorney, senator. She was first hired as a computer by NASA to help solve math problems. Though faced with an incredibly racist America, he found worldwide fame in the 1970s with his incredible talent, charisma, and athletic grace. Your 1969 autobiography, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, changed the face of American literature. He was the first African American to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame their first year of eligibility. In 1997, she co-founded the Critical Resistance, an organization working to abolish the prison industrial complex. To produce, write, and act in her own film, The Flames of Wrath. And now the first female Vice President of the United States of America. In 1962, that computer went on to calculate the orbital equations that would control the trajectory of the capsule and John Glenn's Friendship 7 mission, from liftoff to splashdown all packaged in a superhuman ability to fight. He continues to inspire people all around the globe long after his untimely death. We thank you, Maya Angelou. We thank you, Jackie Robinson. And I thank you, Angela Davis, for your audacity to speak the truth then and now. We thank you, Maria P. Williams. Thank you, Kamala Harris. We thank you, Katherine Johnson. We thank you, Bruce. Lee. Bruce Lee? What? Bobby? Bobby, what are you talking about? Seriously, Bobby. Bobby, this is for Black History Month. Oh, this is for Black History Month? Ah, oh. uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I didn't read the email. <sighs> okay, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Uh... I do fuck with Bruce, though. <laughs>